Iran successfully makes all the drones it needs. Exercises held in the summer of 2022 revealed new vertical takeoff drone models operated by the Revolutionary Guard IRGC, and the regular Army and Navy that have never been seen before. The importance of these aircraft is how they continue to advance and transform the real-time intelligence and situational awareness Iranian commanders need. The existence of three distinct fixed-wing vertical takeoff and landing toll, models also serves as proof that Iranian manufacturing processes for shaping composite materials like carbon fiber used on lightweight airframes have matured since the 2010s. The same goes for their systems integration and electro-optical parts fabricating, whether these are imported from abroad or not, in the assembly process for Dole drones. Three distinct Dole models have been shown by Iranian media since July, when naval exercises were held to showcase drone swarms, and what they have in common aside from quadrator layouts are small airframes. It appears the Iranian Navy are the primary operators for these, although the ground forces, and soon the IRGC, may receive their own. Lightweight Dole drones found broad applications among naval branches worldwide in the 2010s as these provided a convenient surveillance and reconnaissance tool with superior performance especially in their mission endurance when compared to a helicopter. An obvious advantage of Dole drones is they don't require airstrips or catapults for launching them, and their dimensions allow for easy assembly and disassembly. For the Iranian Navy, Iron, who are burdened with a diverse and outdated fleet, at least two Dole drones have twin boom layouts, while an even smaller model has a single tail. The three have open ports to fit a gimbal carrying the drone's optical payload. See photo above. The largest model among the three has a twin boom layout and five propellers, with four parallel to its wings and a push propeller behind its fuselage and features an elongated wingspan with curved edges. Its landing gear are four small detachable legs under the fuselage and wings. With details about it withheld by the iron the best assessment of its performance is checking a similar commercial model. It turns out its closest analog supplied by a Chinese manufacturer is able to take off from any surface and has a 3-4 to four hour mission time. Depending on the engine type, which can be a hybrid multifuel and electric model, maximum flight altitude is either between 10,000 feet and 15,000 feet, which is the threshold for medium altitude drones. Regardless of the distance it covers, while airborne the likeliest role the iron is using this model for is target assessment, and tracking the Navy's submarines have proven capable of launching cruise missiles. An interesting detail about this twin-boom Dole model are the twin antennae on its wings since these can indicate the extent of its data link, whether it's at least 20 kilometers or much farther. During exercises in July and then August the Iron deployed submarines, where operators tested Dole drone launches and flew them over open sea. Another small fixed-wing drone was tested by launching it with a small catapult from the conning tower of a FATA-class submarine. The FATAs have a smaller displacement compared to the Navy's old Kilo-class submarines supplied by Russia in the 1990s. Iran's naval shipbuilding program does have a timeline for additional submarines and a new class displacing 3,000 tons. Within the Middle East there's no doubt Iran and Turkey are competing neck-to-neck -neck in the mass production of military drones. The crucial difference is Turkey enjoys inputs from and leverage over its NATO allies and Ankara has an export policy running at full throttle. Meanwhile Iran has only begun to look for viable end-users for its military drones. In July the Biden administration claimed a deal was underway for Iran to train and equip the Russian military with a substantial number of drones. But pertinent details remain elusive.
What the appearance of these naval toll models prove beyond doubt is Iranian drone manufacturing is on a large scale and all technological barriers have been overcome. So it's possible many different types of Iranian drones are absorbed by the Russian military at some point in the future, but ultimate proof has yet to emerge.